Okay, good evening. Today I am doing something a little bit different, right? I never do videos with people. Like, I'm always, like, the only person in my videos. And I have always wanted to do a video with my boyfriend. But I was like, boyfriend tag? And he was like, absolutely fucking not. So that's not even on the table. So then I was like, right, okay, what other kind of videos do I like? And I love myself a good week. Who knows me better? So obviously my boyfriend is staying with me during lockdown. And he's, like, really good friends with my brother. So I was like, why not get them both in a video? Let's not just kill two birds with one stone. Because everyone always asks my brother to be in a video too. I'm actually, like, really nervous for this. Hence why I'm speaking so quickly but basically like they're two very confident boys in real life i can just tell as soon as they come in here and we start playing this game they're just gonna be so nervous and awkward and it's gonna kill me this is why i'm doing a quick intro without them because i just need to warn you like it's gonna be it's gonna be awkward times also how nice is this top sorry i just like can't stop looking at it in the viewfinder it's from dolls kill if you're wondering you weren't also i'm not gonna lie to you like belfast at the minute is tropical weather 12 degrees what the hell i was out in my bikini today so sunburnt i'm so sunburnt like let's not address the issue because i'm feeling a bit self-conscious about it right now i tried to cover it with concealer it didn't work but yeah i'm thriving in this weather like if it was rainy i'd be long gone i'd be dead in the ground somewhere but because it's sunny like i am kind of just like fooling myself into believing it's hot girl summer even though it's just not and it's not even happening this year and i just need to come to terms with it but i'm really struggling to do that i'm still shopping for bikinis at the minute and i'm like why am i doing this olivia like you're not going away also i have a zoom meeting with my friends tonight we're doing a wee bit of a quiz and we like to get a bit tipsy for our quiz because like what else is there to do to be honest so i've got here a wee vodka pink look because they don't mind me also oh my god because the boys are so awkward i made them like down completely beers before this so that i'll be like slightly less awkward so let's hope that worked Ooh. right okay so this is my brother matthew hello oh that was horrible that was disgusting uh, we recently shaved matthew's head and it's like i don't know if it's a win or a lose from him mm, I it. Um, I don't know. you look like schmoo and then we've got john we all know john by now okay right because we don't have buzzers we need you to make a noise like so if you know the answer first you have to make a noise I'm saying boom. so they're using boom for their buzzer noise by the way i never really clarified that i also still don't know why they're using boom but they are first question where is my birthmark boom. your butt yeah my left butt enough. cheek Matthew, mm. how would you not know that i just didn't oh. know <laughs> not in that way <laughs> sweet home no, alabama <laughs> second question when's my birthday boom oh, <laughs> <laughs> 20th of september 2001 yeah what's my favorite food boom, boom. he said it first B curry no Ooh, boom pasta no. <laughs> oh, boom, boom, boom. Avocado on toast. Yes, avocado on toast with baked beans. What did I get in my GCSEs? Boom. Seven, eight, three, eight, stars. No. Speak louder. It's not mumbling. Um, five, eight, five, eight, stars. Yes. Where is my favourite country to go on holiday? Boom. boom. I said that first. Yeah. You said it first. Italy. Italy. Yes, Italy is my favourite. I really want to go back this year, but like Corona's just not gonna let that happen. Who's my fave singer right now? Right, I'll give you I'll give you a five second snippet of her song. I know it's getting late I know now, song, baby. Like, I know or I'm just a loser, shouldn't be with you. I Guess I'm a quitter. <laughs> Benet? Oh, or oh, yeah. it's it's Benny, but I say Benet because I'm just mean? bougie. Yeah. Why did I like well, I did quit the zoo, but why did I basically Boom. lose my job? You made a video while working there. It's not while working there. But about working there. You said about working there and about how you didn't like the zoo and yes. how you treat them. Yeah. Basically, I used to have a job at the zoo. I, I think I had it for like a good two years. My YouTube wasn't big at all at the time and I did a vlog and then in the vlog I was like, going to work now. And then I was like, I also don't really agree with the zoos either because like it is kind of sad. Like the elephants in the wee tiny little cages and there's just no room to move <laughs> and it's really upsetting and I can't believe it. I, well, I didn't really work there. I worked for like a company within the zoo, but okay, whatever. And then basically he was like taked on the video and then I was like, I quit because I'm just a drama queen. Who's my favourite YouTuber? Boom. Why do you say boom if you don't have an answer ready to go? <laughs> Alison Ray. Alison Ray? <laughs> She's a TikToker, but I do stan her. I stan Alison Ray. You should know this. I know. Give me, give me a clue. Same name as my sister. Emma Chamberlain. Yes. Last time I cried. Boom. boom. When? Not. Yeah, okay, funny story. <laughs> so we were sitting here like an hour ago, I think, just me and John, and then he made a joke about me being flat chested. Like obviously I always make jokes about me being flat chested, and it's okay for me to do it. But see, I like this really mentally unhinged at the minute because of a uh, lockdown, so then he made a joke about me having no boobs, and I basically just burst into tears. How many piercings do I have? Boom. Five. No, you're wrong. Boom. Yeah. Six. No. Nope. Boom four. Nope. 
Boom. So yeah, I have seven <laughs> piercings. They're like all on my ears, though, and then I just have one on my nose. I used to have one on my belly button, but you know all about that. That I took it out and then it closed over, but now there's just a big gaping hole in my belly button. It's so nice. First oh, time I got paralytic. Like what? The boom, end? boom, boom, boom. My nose. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> It was in a forest and your friends left you on the side of the road. Yeah, I told this story before my channel. Someone saw their parents' whiskey and I just saw like fun vibes that see it off at summer, you know. And um, people like carried me out of the forest and like apparently on the way to the taxi, like doctors were stopping them on the street being like, this <coughs> child needs the hospital. It was kind of atrocious behavior for me. And then I got grounded and sent to hockey camp for summer. And then I got a ball to the head and had to get... I actually don't think I got stitches, but I still have a scar to this day and it's really ugly and it's like I don't have eyebrow hairs there anymore, so. How many ingrown toenail surgeries have I had? Boom. Two. Boom. Four. Yeah. What? You've had four? Well, no, I've had all four sides done, yeah, so yeah. yeah. Whoever loses this has to stay off a drink. Who is my favourite teacher? Boom. Let's go again. Yeah. If He's you know, you know. Basically, there's this biology teacher and like all my friends are just, we are, sorry, I'm not even gonna get into it. Currently, what is the plastic surgery, stroke, cosmetic, anything? What is the one I want the boom most? Job. You didn't say boom. Boom, boom job. No. Boom. Yeah. Lip fillers. Yes. What? You've already got them. They've completely dissolved. They have no have lips it? yet again. Yeah, I noticed that. Yeah. <laughs> Mommy, what the hell? I'm they say that when the first time you get lip fillers, they've dissolved within like four months, and it just has happened to me. And like, as you can see, well, actually, they're a wee bit, yeah, they're pretty much gone again. So I will be wanting to get them done again. Mm. And I'm not too fast on a boob job because I'm like, imagine the recovery from that, like having your chest sliced open and bits of plastic put in. Doesn't sound like a bit of me. Doesn't what, sound like what, a bit of you. What happened if it went wrong as well? If it went wrong, yeah. And like, imagine you were running one day and then the plastic fell down in like to your tummy. Yeah, no way. What? That could happen. Yeah. Or it burst. People's plastic mm. boob burst. Mm. Imagine you're just like out for dinner and me and my boob bursted in the restaurant. <laughs> what would you do? What's my name? Boom. Boom. Sarah. Yes. Who's my favourite animal in the house? Boom. Boom. <sighs> Tiger. No. Boom. George. Tigger, my favourite animal. God, I can't. Um, George. Yeah, George. Yeah, I just can't stand Tigger these days. She's like, it's not even that there's anything wrong with her anymore. She's just like being a bitch. Like, she'll come to my door at like 3 a.m., fully fed, fully watered. She's been out to pee. I don't need to give her anything. She'll just stand outside my door and be like, eh! What's the worst trouble I've ever been in in school? Actually, you wouldn't know this probably. Mm. I think you would do. Me? It was quite shocking for my age. What? Were you young? Yeah. Your brain memory probably doesn't go back that far, does it? Nope, no, there's not a lot not. of brain activity going up there. <laughs> Basically, when I was first year, we were all like standing in a big rip outside and it was literally like, I'm pretty sure it was like October, like it was like my first month in big school and someone had a vape. We were like passing it around and then obviously I was like, give it here, I'll show you how it's done. And I had a bit of the vape. But then I feel like someone walked past and saw like this whole like grip of 12 year olds or 11 year olds doing this and reported it to a teacher and I got a Friday detention when I was 11 years old for vaping so who is the most <sighs> famous person I've met boom yeah Oh, Ed Westwick. Oh. Yes! yes! So one time I had never watched Gossip Girl in my life and I think I was 13 and we were going skiing and we were in the airport and like I had no idea who Ed Westwick was but the family we were going skiing with, the girl obviously like knew exactly who Chuck Bass was and she was like, there is Ed Westwick. But we were all too shy to go over and say, <laughs> too shy, too shy. We were all too shy to go over and say like, hi, can we get a photo or anything? So we sent my mum over to make sure it was him because he had this like huge beard and all. we were like, we don't really know about him. To this day, I don't know how he she recognized him but anyway so we sent my mum over and my mum oh, she's actually embarrassing she goes hi are you ed westwood ed westwood <laughs> so, so she did he did he's like yeah that's me on that holiday i was like right okay i've met this guy like a gossip girl ago obviously completely fell in love with chuck bass i barely skied that holiday all i did was watch gossip girl yeah that's the most famous person i've met it's like also the only famous person i've met but like i was kind of starstruck when i met youtubers because obviously i'm, I'm obsessed with youtubers surely like meeting youtubers was like better for you than meeting ed westwood yeah because i had no idea who ed westwood was but so, he's, he's the most famous person who would it have been like the best person to me. Oh, like Kate Class. Elizabeth and Flossie. I was like crying yeah. inside, but I had to like play in my kill and be like, hey girlies. I was sweating. Oh my God, it was it was terrifying. What sports did I play when I was younger? Boom. Yeah. 
Oh, hockey and athletics. Cons dance! Yes! Um, hockey, athletics and that's dance. Seven yeah. Is it seven all? Yeah. Nope, it's just not. It is seven eight. But anyway, I'm not getting into it. Whenever I was like eleven, I was like popping off at athletics. I'm pretty sure I was like either first or second in my country at cross country, so come for me. Did you say an Ulster? No, my country. No, Northern Irish. I was Northern Irish champion at cross country. At what age? At 10 years old but like <laughs> i was still faster than all the other 10 year olds okay right this is the tiebreaker and whoever doesn't get this has to see off their drink it's just not a tiebreaker it's fine it's fine like i'm not even annoyed by it it's not even like really odd to think that it's fine let's just let's just pretend it's a tiebreaker which video on my channel hit a million views first boom yeah pro get ready with me yeah Boom. <laughs> also, oh my god, you know it's been a year. Like, I think I put my first video up on oh, the 20th of April last year. So it's been a year. It's my year anniversary on YouTube. Also, oh my god, I met up with my manager when I was in London. I have a manager. She's a lovely wee girl from London, by the way, if you're wondering. I feel like that's so interesting. Like, I did not know YouTubers had, like, managers and stuff. But, yeah, I do, just in case you're wondering. And I met up with her when I was in London with Elise and Lewis. And she was like, oh my god, you should do merch. And I was like, oh my god, no. Like, everyone would be like, fuck off, Olivia, if I was like, buy my merch. But then I was, like, thinking, basically, like Emma Chamberlain has merch and like you can't really tell it's her merch if you know what I mean like it's just a nice hoodie and then maybe it's got like a wee tiny thing on it and like I really want something like that so then I was like maybe I should do something like that but tell me if you're kind of like Olivia who do you think you are because then I'll not do it but I don't know I just think it'd be really fun because like I only ever wear hoodies anyway so like maybe it's a fun idea maybe I need to shut up and like just tell me if I do because I will okay right now we're having Matthew see off his drink faster Oh my nice. god! That's pretty, that's pretty good, that was pretty good. Let's see the empty glass. Nice! <laughs> oh my god! What just came <laughs> Did that just happen? <laughs> Are you What's gonna... What's happening? I don't know! Did you just throw up? <laughs> no! <laughs> What's just happened? <laughs> right, that is the end of the video. I don't even know if I'll put this up because it was just a bit of a mess and like they're just like speaking over me. Like even that noise, you just <laughs> like when I'm speaking, like oh my god, it's like really doing my head and I'm so frustrated right now. Okay, bye. <laughs>